G'day battlers, and today we have a brand new cup, the Fusion Cup, and with that comes a brand new meta infographic, so let's just jump straight into it. So, Fusion Cup, you've got dual types, only Pokemon two types, pretty simple, don't need to explain it. And then, the dust saving, thank the Sylph Gods, cheap second moves. So you can only use Pokemon with a 50k uh, second charge move or less. So if it has 75k second charge move, gone. Goodbye Umbreon. It's got 100k second charge move, gone. Goodbye Legendaries and Mythicals. So real cheap, and uh, that's kind of the only restriction. So it actually saves us so much dust because I think I'm not going to have to spend any dust this month. Like I think I have all of the Pokemon that I could want, uh, like everything. I think I've got almost everything on the Meta Simplified Guide that will be on the screen in a minute. Uh, but real quick, uh, let's just, oh, actually, almost forgot. It's also just four bands, Azumarill, Metacham, Dugong, because it recently got a really big buff. Uh, so the double legacy Dugong has Icy Wind, and uh, Icy Wind just got massive. It's it's spammy for one, and it was already spammy, but now they just added a debuff onto it. Uh, so it's just too good, so fair enough. And then also Wormadam Band. So let's just get into exactly what you can and can't use. Uh, if you want to skip this bit, I'll have timestamps in the pinned comment below. So if you want to skip it, it's there. And let's get into it. So starting off with Gen 1, we've got Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Charizard, Butterfree, Weedle, Kukuna, Beedrill, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, Spearow, Fearow, Nidoqueen, Nidto, King, Jug, Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff, Zubat, Golbat, Oddish, Gloom, Falcon, Paris, Parasect, Venonat, Venomoth, Polyrath, Bellsprout, Wolfen Bell, Victory Bell, Tentacruel, Tentacruel, Geodude, Graveler, Golem, Slowpoke, Slowbrook, Magnemite, Magneton, Farfetch, Doodle, Dodrio, Cloyster, Ghastly Horns, a Gengar, Execute, Execute, Executor, Rhyhorn, Rhydon, Star, Star Me, and Gyarados. Gen 2, Hoot Hoot, Noctowl, Ladybug, Lady Anne, Spinarak, Ariados, Golbat, Chinchow, Lantern, Igglybuff, to to Toga Tick. Natu, Zatu, Meryl, Hoppip, Skiploom, Jumpluff, Yanma, Wooper, Quagsire, Murkrow, Sloking, Giraffring, Quillfish, Shuckle, Heracross, Sneasel, Mikago, Swinob, Pillarswine, Corsola, Handor, Handoom, Kingdra, Smoochum. Then, Gen 3, we have Combuskin, Blaziken, Marshdomp, Swampert, Beautify, Dustox, Lotad, Lombre, Ludicolo, Nuzleaf, Shiftry, Taylor, Swellow, Wingull, Pelipar, Surskit, Mascarone, Breloom, Azuril, Aaron, Laron, Agron, Metatite, Roselia, Kavana, Sharpedo is supposed to be in that little box there, but uh, it isn't, so just imagine that Sharpedo is there. Nuffle, Tamarupt, Cacturn, Swablu, Altaria, the, the Lord, Lunatone, Solrock, Barboach, Whiskash, Crawdont, Boltoy, Claydol, Lilip, Cradilly, Anorith, Armaldo, Sphil, Celia, Woolrain, Beldum. Gen 4, we've got Torterra, Monferno, Inferno, Mampoleon, Starly, Staravia, Staraptor, Bibarel, Baju, Roserade, Motham, Combi, Vestaquin, Gastrodons, Honchcrow, Stunky, Skuntank, Bronzor, Bronzong, Mime Jr., Krogunk, Toxcroak, Mantine, uh, Mantike, Snova, Abomasnow, Weavile, Mangazone, Rhyperia, Togekiss, Yarn Mega, Mamoswine, Probopus, and Frostlass. And then, I really don't know the Gen 5 Pokemon, so I'm just going to do my best. You've got the second and third evolutions of Tepig, of which one of them is Embor, I'm pretty sure. You've got the Gen 5 Starting Town Birdline. You've got uh, Excadrill, Fungus, and its evolution dude, uh, and Durant. It's a pretty short bunch of Pokemon, because we don't really know the second charge move cost of the other Pokemon that haven't been released yet, so it might expand as the list goes on. Uh, back to Gen 7, we've got Alolan Rattata, Alolan Raticate, Alolan Raichu, Alolan Sandshrew, Alolan Sandslash, Alolan Ninetales, Alolan Diglett, Alolan Dugtrio, Alolan Geodude, Alolan Graveler, Alolan Golem, Alolan Grimer, Alolan Muck, Alolan Executor, Alolan Marowak, Alolan Gen 8, Galarian Weezing. Just Galarian Weezing, and you're not going to want to use Galar Galarian Weezing, so let's get onto that uh, Medicine Slide Guard, shall we? Brah! And here we are. Uh, so it's pretty similar to just normal Great League, kind of, but it does cut out a lot of big players. I mean, you've got the four bands already with uh, Metachamp and Azumarill going bye-bye. So let's just go into it. We've got Altaria dead in the center, and that is because Altaria is the beast of this cup. And you can see there are four arrows coming off Altaria and only one going to it. Altaria is a monster. So Altaria beats up the grass types in the bottom left. Altaria beats the fighting types in the bottom. Altaria beats the mud boys in the bottom right and then beats those fire types up in the top right. Wow, <laughs> just wow. And then, uh, so you're gonna have to bring Altaria counters on your team, and for that, we've got uh, kind of ice types and tanks. So up in the top left, we have Bronzong and Alolan Sandslash. Uh, you could also be using stuff like uh, Probopass, uh, just other ice types, Alolan, uh, Alolan Ninetales. You can also use charm uses such as Togekiss, uh, but their role in this cup is to take down Altaria. 
that is their role. And on top of that, they're also able to take out the grass types. So, I mean, that's a nice little bonus. Uh, ice is super effective, psychic super effective, so it doesn't really matter which type. Uh, and then kind of back and forth with the fighting types. So uh, Bronzong with confusion damage is going to be able to destroy the fighting types, just annihilate. Something like a Lol and Sand Slash though, going to get beaten down by the fighting types. That's just how it goes. Uh, and then they're also going to get beat by the Mud Boys, uh, that just Mud mud Spam, Mud Bomb from Whizcash. Uh, Hydro Cannon is a little nerfed on Swampert, so it's slightly worse than it is, but it's still really good. I mean, it's rated really highly in this cup still after the debuff. It was just a 10 damage decrease, so it's still really good. Uh, and then Alolan Marok Charizard, they're going to be able to take out those Steel types. Uh, I think they're all Steel types. Oh, I guess Ice, Ice is also going to just... They've pretty much got that matchup. Uh, so moving on to the grass types down the bottom left-ish. Gonna lose to Altaria, gonna lose to the fire types, gonna lose to those uh, Altaria counters, and then gonna be able to beat the Mud Boys. Kinda gonna be important for that role, beating the Mud Boys. It is the only thing they're weak to. And then also beating down the fighting types. Uh, it is a little close in some of the matchups, uh, but for the most part, you're gonna have those fighting types. Uh, just keep pumping at them, you'll get them. On to the fighting types. Now Heracross. Heracross is... Uh, He's got a little bit of a boost because close combat got buffed. Uh, it is, uh, it's a very strong move now and it is a force to be reckoned with. Uh, you do have to remember that buffs and debuffs are going to be removed upon switch. So you might want to hit the close combat, you'll get debuffed yourself and then switch out, keep him for later, maybe throw another one later. Uh, but anyway, you're going to lose to Altaria, you're going to lose to the grass types back and forth with the steel Altaria counters as before. Going to be able to beat the Mud Boys pretty handily and then also going to lose to the uh, to the fire type. So it's a lot of losses and it's kind of surprising to me that Heracross rates so highly in this meta, but it kind of just covers a lot of stuff. And I mean, if you can land a big whomping move, it might win the game. And it is a really important counter to the uh, Altaria counters. Uh, I think We'll just see how it goes. I mean, a lot of people aren't going to have Heracross to start with, but we'll just see. And then Toxicroak is kind of there as a Heracross substitute. So if you don't have Heracross, you can bring Toxicroak as the fighting type if you want. Uh, and then moving on to the Mud Boys over on the bottom right. Going to be able to take out the Fire types. Going to be able to take out the Altaria counters. Lose to Altaria. Lose to the Grass types. Lose to the fighting types. Pretty easy. I mean, there's nothing to it. Whiskash and Swampit, they're the two guys to go to uh, for this cup. Quagsire. Eh. Eh. You could maybe use Quagsire if you wanted to. Actually, yeah, we'll go to the fire types, and then uh, one little exception in that bottom left that you might have seen, Shiftery. He's a little bit different, so we'll do the fire types, then get to Shiftery. So, the fire types, going to be able to beat the Altaria counters, going to be able to beat the grass types, going to lose to the uh, lose to Altaria, the big man on campus, going to beat down the fighting types, and then uh, going to lose to the Mud Boys. So, being able to beat the fighting types is actually pretty cool. Uh, I guess Alolan Marowak is... Alolan Marowak is the fire type you're going to want to use. Uh, with Fire Spin as the quick move, you could use Hex, uh, I guess, you'd have a slightly better uh, off. You, you're going to be doing super effective against Bronzong anyway, so just probably go Fire Spin. Now, Shiftry. Hanging out in that bottom left, he's a very special type of Grass type because his matchups are pretty much flipped from the other Grass types. Uh, he got Snarl recently, and its energy generation is through the roof. So if you run Snarl with Leaf Blade and Foul Play, you flip a lot of matchups. So now, instead of losing to Bronzong, you beat Bronzong really beat bronze off like really bad and then you beat up whiskash still uh you beat up alolan marowak now uh still beat up swampert and just it flips kind of you can beat some mud boy uh or do you can beat some mud boys you can beat some fire type damage you can beat some altaria counter damage uh so shiftry is definitely going to be an interesting one i think a lot of people are going to be using shiftry so watch out nobody does get onto it and i'll Obviously, I have some battle videos soon, and I'll, I should be using Shiftry. So, uh, yeah, this is my medicine slide guide for the Fusion Cup. Uh, just thank you, Sylph. Thank you, Sylph. Mud Dust thanks you. Now I can do all that uh, Ultra League and Master League investing that I really don't want to do. <sighs> Man. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Especially that subscribe one. See you in the next one. Thank you to Militarm and the Bradges Fair the gods of this channel. Thanks you two for keeping up with being cool and that. Now I'm gonna sign off for the second time. Bye bye. Not sure what I'm gonna do with Timeless Cup and Fusion.